This is Austin Richardson. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. How about y'all? Good, brother. Doing 20, well. 21? 22. Okay, 22. When did you, when did you turn 22? Uh, this past January. Okay, very good. And you're a Texas kid. Yes, sir. So where'd you, where'd you, where'd you, where'd you go to school? Where'd you like, go to high school? And uh, business? Ferris, Texas. Uh, Ferris. Ah. I, I, that ain't Dallas. That's no. Ferris. That's yeah. I told you. Yeah. It was probably. Uh, I was um, I was homeschooled most of my life, though. Oh, okay. Very Ever good. since the seventh grade, I, I traveled a bunch racing motocross, and, and then I picked up bull riding, so I was even more traveling so okay, okay. motocross wasn't enough adrenaline so <laughs> exactly turn the bulls that so makes you, sense you're one, of these, you're one of these dudes that just you just like to do a bunch of dangerous fun stuff exactly so what was like what was the first thing you did when your mom was like oh gosh go ahead i guess yeah they they didn't really didn't really like me riding bulls but uh <laughs> once i got good at it they understood that this is what i want to do yeah how do you how do you know so how Take me through that. How do you decide, I might be kind of cool, I want to try that, and then you realize, good Lord, I'm pretty good at it. How, <laughs> so, that, uh, a bunch of friends of my buddies that I grew up with, they they started into it when they were young and got me yeah. into it, and once I started doing youth rodeos and open events when I was 17, um, then uh, I figured I was pretty good at it, and so when I was 18, I bought my professional card and, and hit the road, and, and now I'm here. Dude, so okay, what do you hit the road? I mean, what's that mean? Uh, what's, I mean, what? traveling all over. I mean, Dude. from California to New York to Bainer, Maine. And we, we've been all. I've been to Canada a few times. Dang, man. Actually, my first event uh, in Canada, I won. It was a pretty, pretty cool moment in my, cool. my career. Uh, obviously, winning. But what's the what's the most fun trip you've had? Like something. Like what's the what's the coolest thing you've gotten to do? Because hell, you got you're only 22 years old. Yeah, uh, I'd say probably Beach Sky, Montana. It's it's a great event. It's a really beautiful place. I played yeah. golf every day of the week. It was okay. it was awesome. I got to go mountain mountain bike riding, and that was that was pretty cool. It was. All right, so you one of these kids that like you you can't go two days without doing something. Yeah, like, I, I, told I you, can't. Okay, I can't. for the next two days you have to stay home and watch Netflix for two days. <laughs> You'd probably go insane with yeah. your need to do stuff. I can't sit around. I, I love doing stuff every day. I, I'm either working out, riding bulls, or playing golf. Did you quit riding motorcycles. I'm sorry. Did you quit riding bikes? You said you're motocross, right? Yep. yep. You're, you're probably not even allowed to do that. No, I don't really play around on dirt bikes okay. anymore. I got a little pit bike, but I don't play on yeah, them that much. But, you know, it's funny, like like the, a lot of guys that play other on other pro teams, like you know baseball or cowboys or whatever. Like, okay, you're not allowed to skydive. <laughs> you're not allowed to deep sea dive. You're not allowed to go mountain climbing. You got them. You're in the most dangerous sport in the world. So I would I would think that. I mean, just nothing. You can do whatever you want, right? Or is there is there anything that says you can't do that because we need you for the bull riding? No, I mean it's just common sense. I I would rather okay. not hurt myself because I have a pretty good chance of hurting myself every weekend. So I'd rather do that at the event than somewhere else being stupid. He and I were talking earlier. That's the thing that strikes me the most is like every athlete knows that they're gonna. Football players know. Okay, at some point I'm going to tweak an ankle. Exactly. Maybe I blow a knee, but probably not. But yeah, I'm going to have I'm going to have soreness. I'm going to get hurt. I'm probably going to break a finger. But man, y'all y'all all sign up to get hurt, hurt like for real hurt. How the hell how do you reconcile that? Knowing okay, this is a sport that I love. I'm going to get hurt at some point. Jose just come off breaking four rib, punctured lung. No big deal. Just. We were we were talking to a guy yesterday who's had his jaw broken four times. Are you good? Why are you putting yourself through that? He's, he's going to get hurt ten more times. Yeah, I mean it's it's part of the sport for sure. I mean, we know it's going to come one way or another, but uh, I love it and I wouldn't trade it for nothing. It's uh, it's nothing like riding a bull for ninety four points and and being a bunch of points and know that you dominated that bull and yeah. I mean you are going to get hurt. Uh, I've broken a few bones, but uh, yeah. Um, just trying to stay healthy and uh, what have you broken? It. I've broken my collarbone twice. I've, oh. I've broken my wrist. Um, I sprawled, fractured my femur when I was a Ooh. kid. Uh, oh, that was a pretty terrible one. But uh, when you were a little kid, yeah, I was eight. Oh, riding bulls? Uh, horses. Oh gosh, but, how'd that happen? Uh, I was a young kid and uh, my saddle didn't really fit me and I fell off and. <laughs> Fell off on the left side and broke my right femur. I don't know how that worked, but you fell on the left side of the horse <laughs> and broke your right femur. Yeah, you must have been. You must have like landed weird or something. Yeah, I, I guess I just slapped it right on the ground. Perfect. He was eight years old already, ready to get hurt. He's been getting hurt <laughs> since he was eight, so it's no big deal. Yeah, he had a worse injury at eight than I'm ever pro hopefully going to have my entire life. Like I think falling at LG's house is going to leave me. He was drunk, <laughs> slipped in the kitchen. I wasn't on the linoleum. It's not the tipsy. Same. He <laughs> tipsy. Really no, you're tipsy. Yeah, you tipped over. Let's okay. <laughs> Sorry to tell dad jokes. Let's right, settle. So, so what's your at? So what's your? Where do you live right now? 
uh, Wilmer, Texas. It's 15 minutes south of Dallas. Okay, right there okay, in okay. All right, so how often do you come down to Austin to do stuff? I so guess. I, I've been to Austin a few times. I, uh, this is my first time actually staying in the town and, and hanging out and trying to get to see the city. But, uh, man, I love Austin. It, it'd be a, a great place to live, I think. But, yeah. uh, no, I'm having fun just being able to hang out these uh, few days here. But it, it's yeah. a pretty nice place. Okay. What do you do on, like, what's an average day in Wilmer? Like, when, uh, your, your family has a ranch in Wilmer, don't they? Yes, okay. we, we have a, we have a, a pretty good sized ranch. We okay. have a bunch of horses. Okay, uh, cool. I got a couple of bucking bulls and okay. and uh, dogs and stuff like that. Yeah. But usually I'm just working out with my team now. And, and before I was on the team, I was working out by myself or and playing golf by the end of the day. That's cool. Golly. Uncle Andy loves to hear that. To All right, where do you play golf up in the Metroplex area? Um, I've played at the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, oh, the new one. Yeah, oh, yeah. Cool. Okay. that was really cool. Uh, that was probably the coolest place I got to play, but. Man, uh, I take my clubs every weekend that I go ride bulls. If I have a free free day, I can just hang out. I go try to find somewhere new to play, and uh, I'm not that good, but I love playing on the golf course right. and just hanging out with buddies. I'm thinking that's kind of a way for you to relax from, exactly. from a crazy sport you do. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. All right, what else do you do? Like you, you like movies? You like, you like music? You're a 22 year old kid. Yeah, I'm, uh, I like surfing. Uh, we're always surfing. I'm always on the lake. On lakes. Yeah, yeah, I'm always surfing. Uh, uh, I was, I've been surfing this whole past weekend, but that's another deal to just kind of clear your mind, forget about bull riding, and just have fun. But uh, I'm, I'm really getting pretty good at surfing. I do three safeties and stuff now. So. I saw okay, the cool. gamblers put out some yeah, yeah, footage yeah. of you yeah. earlier today. Okay. Well, you already probably were naturally good at it because you're good at, you've got balance. Yep, exactly. That's all it is is balance. Yeah. And, yeah. and that's all that bull riding is, too. You can't outpower a bull, a 2,000-pound bull. you you got to just balance and uh, just keep your mind in the middle pretty much yeah, mind in the middle mm -hmm. All right, go tell me more about that what do you mean mind in the middle so like if you get to the left or to the right the, a bull's smart he's going to go the totally opposite direction that you're leaning on so yeah. if you can just keep yourself right in the middle of, of each jump and and be kind of ahead of the bull and that's how you kind of stay on their back for as long as you need to but I mean, it, it's hard. Them bulls are smart. When yeah. they get older, they, they just kind of already know what to do to trick you out, jump one way, jump the other, and, and then throw you off. But uh, that's what we, – we can't really think about it. We just try to react at the at the moment, and uh, just that's all we say to ourselves, pretty much to stay in the middle. Yeah. Do you have heroes that did this? Do you have guys like other guys that helped? You saw guys and thought, gosh, that even made me want to do this even more. So it, it was a, it was pretty cool. Uh, Glamry Marchi, he he was a PBR world champion. He was he's a Brazilian. He okay. moved in Brazil or moved to America when I was like five years old, about a mile from my house. Oh um, wow! So okay. I was able to kind of just coincidentally. Yeah, huh. it, it was crazy, but uh, I got to see him and throughout his whole career, and and just to be a friend of him and. Uh, seen like what the workouts he did and practice all the time i mean he helps me a little bit but not much because i started a, a lot later than than uh, when he was about to fi be finished with his career but uh and then he moved back to brazil but that was that was pretty pretty cool moment in my life to watch somebody that's already been throughout all the ins and outs of the bull riding uh, atmosphere and and to watch that that's crazy okay let's you already decided you want to be a bull rider a guy you already loved as a bull rider and world champion happens to move by you. Yeah. That blows my mind. It is crazy. Uh, bull riding has taken me to a lot of places. Like, now I'm training with Jose Victoria that, right. that That's pretty cool. I mean, not, not an <laughs> average bull rider gets to do that because, I mean, he he is by far part of the, the best bull rider in the world right now. And, and to be able to... Uh, have where my career is taking me, and, and it just placed me next to him now. And so I train with him every week, and and uh, he's been helping me, and that's really that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. What you say him train. Right? What's what's training look like? Like what uh, what's the workout routine that we're talking about? It's here? rough. <laughs> yeah, I can tell y'all. Uh, no, we're 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 doing a lot of um, just balance and and not necessarily like a long distance run, but fast like we're we gotta be really fast and quick minded you know so we we do we don't do a bunch of weights we don't want to be super heavy because yeah. you're not gonna outpower them bulls you want to be light and and just chatty yeah yeah so I'll be, lots of people that are listening know that 
you know, he can't be a huge. Like he's six four. Okay. He couldn't do it. No. I mean, yeah. there, there's a few Cody Till and a few other guys that are. Six. Yeah, but they're about one ninety. Yeah. Or, yeah. Not one ninety. I'm not one ninety. So what what's your what's your height and weight? Uh, I'm five seven and um, I weigh about one hundred and forty pounds. Wow, so that's that's probably it. You yep. can't get too much heavier. No, yeah. no. If uh, I watch what I eat, if I eat whatever I want, and yeah. I do like to eat, but yeah. I'd be like one fifty. So what's I watch the- myself and. Yeah. What's the guilty pleasure? The one time you do let yourself cut loose, mm. what are what are we eating? Oh shoot, uh, probably some pizza. Ah, I can't pizza. go wrong. But I won't do it. I'll do it until after the weekend, after I'm done riding. That, it's, that's tough to be your age. Not, not the 22 year olds are incapable of being, you know, acting like grown ups. But it's tough. You're a pro at what you do, so you're expected to not eat pizza every day yeah. you know, not stay out party and you, exactly. you have to get sleep you have to keep up with it now you represent a team and all this kind of thing do you feel like more pressure because you're young yeah uh, i feel like being young it's a it's a little harder because i mean i'm traveling all over the world and yeah. and getting to live a life that nobody really gets to live and and uh it is hard kind of staying on that straight line but uh i think it i, I want to be on that straight line and i think that's best for me because it's going to yeah improve my career uh, further on down the line and and uh if i can put all the work in now i'll get to hang out and chill out later when i'm older and yeah and not have to all the traveling you do i mean how often do your parents like get to go uh so my grandparents they they go um probably every once in a while they okay. go to the closer ones yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. it's kind of hard going all sure. over the place yeah you know? it's a lot of money and yeah time so you just out there on your own with a bunch of other bull riders getting taken care of by <laughs> the gamblers i guess yeah no, uh, it, it it's a lot of help now that we're on a team. I mean, yeah. usually we're by ourselves, going throughout the weekends and yeah. flying by ourselves, staying by ourselves. It, it, yeah, it's kind of a little hard. Was that weird? Yeah, now you're on, the whole team concepts have been weird, hard to get hard to get used to. Uh, I I think I'm I'm really, it's like. I don't know. Bringing kind of the best out of me, I think it's going to be really great for okay. a bunch of us bull riders. I, I'm really liking the deal of being a part of a team right. because uh, other guys. That might not be doing what I'm doing. Yeah. We're all kind of doing the same thing now, and, right. and so we're pushing each other to be better and better each day. Right. And, I mean, are there guys like y'all? Do y'all, you have rivalries like guys you don't like, like for real? Like <laughs> if I saw him, I might get to fight with him. Like, no, for real. No, we're, we're all sure. No one ever gets mad. No, never any. Really, I don't believe you. Yeah, I don't believe that. <laughs> there was hesitation in that first thing. Not you. No, right. I mean sure there might be time. a few guys, but there's no, rivalries ha- out ha- there. Hardly, not really. And I mean, then all of a sudden. You might get stuck on a team with one after years yeah. of like and you're young but i guess you were a guy who's been riding for a while living that life busted his butt now he gets stuck on the team with a guy he doesn't like he's got it <laughs> you better like him because it's your job exactly right? so y'all all get along pretty good yeah most of the get along pretty good i mean we're all humble guys we all want to do the best i, and, I believe that yeah. I well believe that. and it's a i mean every single one of y'all is going out there knowing it might be your last ride exactly. so there's a brotherhood there yeah. i would yeah. imagine and y'all have a kinship because there's yeah. not many people do do what y'all do i mean everybody throughout the weekend we're all cheering for each other because at the end of the day it's whoever does their job whoever covers their bull you know it's like if if you get bucked off that's your own fault you can't be mad at that and and if a guy does ride his all his bulls, I mean, he did his job. He he did what he's supposed to come do. Yeah. Do you practice falling? Like, how, how the hell? That's the thing for me. I, I wouldn't know what to do when I get bucked off. And so when I'm at the house, I have a barrel that I just kind of practice getting on, on and off of it. Okay. If I land on my feet, that creates a habit. If I do it a bunch, I can hopefully land on my feet when I get off the okay, bull. Okay, good grief. But and I mean, this gosh. past year, I've, I've gotten off my on to my feet a lot lately. Like so, landed on your feet. Yeah, so it's. I think the progress is working. What's the Keep worst fall? I hate to be able to go to the negative, but it's fine for the listener. <laughs> I mean, what's the worst fall you ever had? Um, so this past year, I broke my collarbone uh, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yeah, you mentioned it. I, I got hit really hard. Oh, man. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. He slammed me down pretty hard. All right. Well, hopefully no more of that soon. Thank yeah. you, man. I appreciate it, Austin. That's yes, awesome, sir. dude. That's Thank Austin Richards.